Hey guys, it's JC Chandler back again. I am here to do something really quick and I'm going to do a comparison and show you what my preference is. It's two different ways that I have used to decoupage and I prefer one way over the other. Um, you guys know I love my double-sided tape. That is my favorite and I'm going to tell you why. Um, today I'm going to do some coasters, wood coasters using this napkin and I'm going to also back this coaster with cork. So today we're going to go ahead and do maybe one or two of these. I'm going to show you um, from beginning to end. All right, so mistakes and all guys. First, before I move forward, I want to thank all the subscribers, all of you who have been with me since day one. Um, I started February 28th, 2023, and I hit a year this February. I am above, almost at um, 1.5K subscribers. You guys, you warm my heart. I appreciate all the comments and all the suggestions and all the clicks to view. The subscribers keep on keeping on. Um, if you could, show somebody these videos if you think it's of value. Any comment, any like, any share would be much appreciated. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So everybody knows decoupage. It's nothing new. Um, and here's the way that most people do it. It is, you would um, coat your surface with glue, which this one is sitting and drying. I did these this way and they're still trying to dry. And sometimes with the wet napkins, you can bump into this right here if you are not careful. It doesn't matter if you are not careful. It doesn't matter how much glue you put on, how little you put on. This could happen. It's, it'll break on you. Um, or you'll see bubbles. So, you know, nothing wrong with it if that's what you want. But that's not what I want. Right? So, this is the old way. You glue your surface and then you stick your napkin on it. I'm not going to go through showing you that because... I've already done it and it is not my favorite way to do um, decoupage. Nothing wrong with it. Do you boo, right? So these are still drying and I'm ready to move forward, but I can't because they are still drying. So I'm going to put them back under the fan. I will either use them or not. I don't know. Um, but what I like to do is put double-sided tape on and... I have different sizes. We've got the two inch, one inch, half inch. Get what you want, it's up to you. You can even get a whole page size if that's what you need. But um, I've used all three of the sizes I just showed you because of the shape and let me show you what I did. Before I move forward, um, I wanna let you know that if you have a napkin, any napkin, you should know, you may know this already, but it's more than one ply and you wanna get that white part off. And it's a little tricky and you can put tape on it on the back, but you gotta be careful when you pull these off because it could very well rip on you. So be careful. This one just happens to be a two-ply, and I am loving that because less work. So there's my napkin, and it's ready for what I want to do. So let's put that to the side for now, and then I'm going to show you how I did this, and then we're going to move on. Now, the technique that I'm using is for sure the quickest way that I have found. Let me clean up a little bit. It's the quickest way that I have found that works for me. You do you. Um, Double-sided tape, and I'm going to pull this off, and I'll have links below for where I got what I'm using, if it's available. 
So I'm gonna lay this down. The tape is going down here and I'm gonna put this on the edge of the tape as close to the edge as I can, maybe a little over because I wanna make sure that I am covering the edge. And there's that. So I'm gonna cut this now so that I don't have to fight with it later. And you can get this off however you want, but I'm cutting. Let's move this. And this sticks to my uh, scissors, but you know, I have a method to clean it off. So it's not a big deal. So there's that one piece, right? I'm gonna varnish it down as much as I can. And I'm gonna put this to the side. And now I'm gonna use this one. Now I can use this, but there's gonna be some waste and I don't wanna waste that much. There's gonna be a little waste on this side, but not a whole lot. So let's do this. Let's see if I can do it this way because there's an angle from when I cut previously. So less waste. Let me do it this way. I gotta pick it up guys. I'm gonna do it right to the edge. And this stuff is so sticky. And now I'm gonna bring it as close to it as possible. Press it on down. And there's that. And let me go ahead and see, I can literally rip this one. The two inch one is not as easy to rip but I can still cut this down, but we also will use the file. Let me cut this as much as I can. And so there's that, right? Now I have the thinner one and it's up to you again, depending on your size. This is a smaller coaster than what I'm used to using. And here's the smaller tape. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this right across the top here. I want it to be right next to it. Try to get no seams. And then I'm gonna rip that, whoops. This stuff is sticky, guys. So I'm gonna rip that, bring this back up, and press it down. All right, so I'm rubbing it. Now what I like to do, now if this were glue, I'd be waiting, still waiting, see? That's been over 10 minutes and it's still not dry. So I'm gonna file the edges so that I can get the nice smooth side. Um, get that tape off the edges. This is my favorite way to decoupage. Get this down. Get some of that down. I'm gonna make sure that tape is very, very, like all the way to the edge. And we're gonna file the edge again, just not as much when we get the napkin on. All right, let me wipe some of this up. Okay, so we've got two of them done, right? Got two of them done. So now let's go ahead and get the napkin. Now, because this is still wet, we're not gonna mess with that one. And these, these are done with the wet. Like this is still wet. And I'm, I don't like waiting, right? So. That's why I like this tape. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring over a piece of the napkin, right? I'm gonna lay it down. Let me get this tape off real quick. And see, we get the tape off as much. Yep, we're gonna get that tape off. And I'm gonna lay this down as flat. Let me do it this way. I like doing it this way. 
So I'm gonna lay this and then I'm going to just plop this on down and rub it. And see, the thing about the tape is that I can rub as hard, not too hard, but I can get those wrinkles out. See that? There was a wrinkle there and I can get those wrinkles out. Right, and what I want to do now is I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to varnish this down as much as I want into the tape. And there's no rips, right? Nice and flat, nice and flat. And I'm going to do it some more. And this is just a a silver, I don't know, stainless steel. They call it soap, I guess. Well, I use it for varnish, varnishing. And there's that. All right, so now I'm gonna do a light file. And all the while, the wet Mod Podge and glue technique is still drying. I wouldn't be able to do this until the Mod Podge dries. Right now, all I'm dealing with is the double-sided tape. And I can work on this right now. Instead of waiting 10 to 15 minutes to get to this point. So there's that. My beautiful coaster is ready to get a finish on it. I'm going to go ahead and get the edges nice and clean. Right? Now that's dry. The other one is still wet. This is my favorite technique for decoupage. And look how flat that is. There's no bubbles. Right? So let's go ahead and do... I'm going to stain the edges. Let's see, how do I want to stain the edges? I think I want to use black permanent marker, right? So I'm gonna, I got this uh, pack of three from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna do the edge just along the edge because you see that little white not white but wood showing right there and then i covered it up just now so this is what i'm going to do and that's just to give it a finished look you guys know i like to finish my edges when i'm doing especially when we're filing and i'm going to turn it around and do it the same look at that nice and clean so I'm gonna do it the same way right here because you see there's still some on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I don't care if it's over the edge because I'm gonna put the cork on, which is also double-sided. It's got a sticky back. So it's just like double-sided tape, only there's cork on one side. Now, look at that. I cannot wait to see a set of these done. I'm gonna do a set of four. These are gonna be coasters and we'll have a cork backing. So I'm gonna finish this with you guys on camera. All right. Just wanna do a little bit more. Let me let those edges dry and let me do one more, okay? So here's the tape. I'm gonna remove it as best I can. We got that and that and that, All right? So let's get one more piece of, let's see, will this work? Yeah, that will work. So let's get this one. And I'll start here and just push it on down, right? I can rub with my hand 
Whereas if it were glue, I couldn't do this without ripping it, which is what you saw on the one over here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead and varnish just a little bit more. I think I had glue on this one at first, but anyway, let's go ahead and finish this and flatten it out nice and flat. We're going to go ahead and get the the edges. Let me rip this off a little bit. Make it less of a challenge. So we're going to go ahead and get this done. Now you can do this with any shape wood coaster. You can do this with any shape wood earring blank. Um, I'm going to have a decoupage series of videos because I've done so much lately with this technique, the double-sided tape of decoupaging. It is nothing that I created. It is something that I discovered over my video views with YouTube. I don't know if I saw anyone doing decoupage with it, but when I discovered double-sided tape, I just could not do without it. You guys know I am all about this double-sided tape and I use it a lot. So here's the other one. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the edges. So we're going to have two coasters by the time I finish this video. I'm going to do the edges. Look at the difference that it makes just finishing it off. Now we're going to um, coat this with, I want it to be, I don't want it to be shiny. So I have a, um, what is it called? DuraClear matte finish. So that's what I'm going to use. And that's going to be what takes the longest to dry. I'm okay with that because that's the finish. But I'm gonna do the finish and I'll come back after it dries and then we will put the cork on, on the back. I am happy with these. I wasn't sure how they were gonna come out guys, but look at the edges. These edges look good. And um, again, I went over the edge on the back because we're gonna have cork on there. You won't see any of that. Look at that, nice and flat and smooth. All right, so what I'm going to do is I need, I'm gonna use one of my little sticky mats and put these down here so I can paint on the DuraClear mat. I want this varnish on here, right? And let's see. It's a durable. I'm gonna brush this on. Don't shake it. It says shake gently. And then I'm once I put this on, I'm going to come back after it's dry. All right. I'm not gonna let you guys sit here all that time. We're gonna do the magic of video, and we're going to come back after it's dry. My favorite brush. We're gonna need uh, several coats of this, okay? I'm gonna do at least two, but probably more. We'll see how it looks. I almost wanna say I should've put some glue or Mod Podge on before, but I'm not worried about it because this is a finish. So let's do this. And I don't really want any streaks. So I'm not gonna put it on too, too thick. I think I already put this one on a little too thick. All right, I'm gonna go ahead so guys, I'm going to let this dry and then I will be back so you can see what the finish, we're going to finish off these coasters. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, so 
This is two coats and it is not extra matte. It is not extra shiny. It's just regular matte and I'm liking that. I did two more that I will um, show you guys um, once it's finished, but we're gonna finish these two, okay? And what we're going to use are these um, sticky cork backs. Now, as you can see, they are too big and that's fine, not a problem. So I'm going to peel this off and I'm going to put this to the edge as best I can because I can possibly use the rest of this cork, depending on how it comes off, um, we'll see. But instead of doing all edges, I will only have these to trim. So let's try it. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna fold this down and let me do, I want it to be right at the edge. Yep, so I'm gonna press down. Sorry, I'm off camera. I'm gonna press down and then I'm gonna let this come off. All right there. So, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my X Acto because I want this to be a little bit cleaner of a cut. So, let's do that. And I want to keep this sticky back, if I can, onto the remaining cork. I've never done this before, so we're going to see how this works. I'm just cutting the paper. And I think this is going to work out better than what I have been doing, which I won't even show you because it is a hot mess. So this, I'm just cutting the paper. Awesome. So that stayed. Let's see if I can just trim the edge. I think this is going to work way better than what I had been doing. Let's see. Let's go back this way. Because what I had been doing is using my scissors, and I got a lot of sticky mess on my scissors. And I'd rather put it on here than to put it on my scissors. So let me see if I can. Let me get my cutting mat before I ruin my silicone mat. Did y'all see that? I almost messed up. Let me get my cutting mat and see if I can do this. Way better than scissors. Yep, good stuff, okay. All right, there we go. So what I'll do is just file that down and no sticky mess on here. Let me do the other one and then I can still use this cork if I wanted to, all right? And I'm gonna find a reason, like I can put cork on the back of some earrings or something like that, so another thing to come. So let's do this. Now, just so you know, I did put some finish on the back here. So this is sealed, this is sealed, and then now the cork is coming on. So you just want to make sure that, you know, in case water gets in on here, you want to make sure that the wood doesn't get damaged. Let me do it this. right on the edge, pressing down. Oh, this is gonna be so much better. So let me go ahead and cut this paper around. And I probably, let me see if I can cut the cork at the same time. Save myself some. Almost. This stuff is sticky, guys. Let me do it this way. Same way, so I can see what I'm doing. 
cut. Yes, that was so much easier. Ooh, y'all don't even want to know what I used to do. Now we've got a great backing on our coaster. We just got to trim it up a little bit. Let me see if I can do it a little bit better here. So much better. Oh my gosh. Why was I making life hard before? Y'all don't even want to know. I was cutting it with my scissors and my poor scissors, let me show you what they look like. My poor scissors, these are my favorite scissors and they are sticky, look at that, all that sticky tape. But I got something real good to clean this off. It's called Awesome and I get it from the dollar store. Very good stuff. All right, so now I really think I'm gonna go ahead and do the scissors um, because I want this to be clean and not rigid see how I cleaned it up see how rigid that is let me move the back move this so you can see what I'm talking about so here's the rough edge right and here's what I just cut so I'm gonna use the scissors for the teeny pieces see how it sticks that's all right. I'm going to clean you up, baby. Got to take care of your tools, guys. And then cut. See how that cuts nice and clean? That's what you want. I don't want to file this because this cork is very messy. And I've done it before. And it's a hot mess. So here's that side. Let's go ahead and cut that. And there we go nice clean edges nice clean edges now i will try to find the cork that is the same size or the wood that is the same size as this cork but when i was ordering it i don't think it was out there so that's why i went ahead and, and got what i have here so let me clean this off again see i used to I have to clean these off every time i cut the sticky but this is nowhere near as bad. There we go, nice and clean edges. We want this to be as professional as possible, nice and clean. So let me clean up some of this cork because it is messy. If you filed your edges, you can file your cork edges, but it is very messy and I'm not going to show it to you right now because I don't want to make a mess. Now one thing that I think I'm going to do just let me see this is it. Now this is really done. I do think I want to put one more coat but one thing I think I want to do oh, I think this is it. This is good. Well, let me try something. So I got a glue stick here. And I would really like to put some glue on this edge here. Just to smoothen the cork down. So it doesn't fray later. Yeah, that feels much better. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put some glue stick on the edges of the cork, just to keep it from fraying. I don't wanna put any finish on it because I want it to stay absorbent. There we go. I'm gonna do that on all edges rub it in and then we're going to let that dry i did this on a different um creation and it worked fine yeah it took away all the fraying the the potential for fraying all right so there's that let me go ahead and do the other side the other one and I think what I'm gonna do is
Let me see. I think I like the stick better. Put the stick on there. And keep the edge from fraying. Now the one that we didn't cut should be fine, but I'm still going to do it just to keep be consistent. And if you find a different technique that works better for you, please let me know. Because that's what we're here for, to learn from each other, right? And share what we come across. So let me wipe my hands off and get this because it looks a hot mess. Clean up. And then I'm going to show you the finished product. This, this I enjoy doing, guys. I always enjoy making videos for you guys. And I want to make sure that um, if you have any questions, you let me know. Let me clean off. We got that. Yes, that feels really good. It's not quite dry. I want that glue to dry smooth. That's why I'm doing that. I'm rubbing it so I want that glue on the edges to dry smooth. Go ahead and wipe this down a little bit more and show you what we got. This is just two of the four that I am working on. So we have our wood coaster that has been varnished with matte Duraclear. You got your napkin. This is absolutely gorgeous, guys. I hope you like. Tell me what you think. And I'm still working on the other two. This is with one coat of the Duraclear, and I still have to do the back of it. So we'll have four coasters and um, I'll test them out before I take them out to the market. But this has worked for me, and I hope you like. I hope you try it. All right, guys. Go be amazing. Bye.